get this show on the road. Um, hey guys, what's up? I'm Cygnus501. Today I will be playing through Crypt Worlds. Um, what exactly is there to say about this bizarro freaking game? Um, well, you're trying to stop the end of the world by a guy named Dendigar, and you have to get five goddess relics in under 50 days, which is actually really easy. Really easy. Um, and there's also, like... I think there's two two endings. There's a good ending and a bad ending uh, regarding if you heed the goddess's advice and if you don't. Uh, if you don't, it triggers like the, the bad ending where the world just turns into, I don't know, what looks like the Red Matrix. <laughs> Um, imagine like going through Undertale, but like every area just ha is uh, just no NPCs anywhere to be seen. Like right off the bat, you don't even have to kill any enemies. Well, that's pretty much it, except uh, way the hell more creepier. Um, and this game has has a pissing mechanic where you have to piss on doors, characters, potholes, not potholes, uh, like just random holes in the ground. Um, what I'm collecting are items in game that will help me later on, and it also helps me with my piss gauge. Um, whenever you piss on the, uh, the, damn it, <laughs> piss in these dirt holes in the ground, um, you will get a golden bug, which it isn't required to beat the game. There are ten of them in the game, and most people don't know about the tenth one. Most people, they don't see it in walkthroughs or anything like that. Hell, I only heard about it from uh, a random comment in some dude's playthrough. And while you watch my playthrough, you will see me go through the garbage a lot. Because I'm pretty sure every day the garbage is restocked with more stuff. Okay, gonna buy myself a gold bug. I know that there's a market inside this town. Oh god, this town is so confusing. <laughs> oh, please lord help me. Okay, there it is. Every time you steal from these people, they they call you a thief. But they don't, they don't really do anything. Um, what I'm going to do this day is I'm going to go into the glitch world. And I'm also going to open up the this little vault down here with a piss insignia on it. Ugh.
There we go. Thankfully, the platforming in this game is a lot easier than it looks. I just missed that one because I'm a dumbass. Alright. Got our first goddess relic. Hey there, Indiana Joe. I'm not gonna talk to you. <laughs> yes, there are upgrades in this game. You can upgrade your wallet, like in Legend of Zelda. You can upgrade your body. You can turn into, like, a cyborg. You can upgrade your piss. Oh boy. Um, okay. Yeah, that's right. The tenth bug. The tenth bug. Where is this dude? There we are. There we go. Um, there are limited supplies in this game um, it takes about two days for most objects to respawn it's either that or that's the farming mechanic that I will get to once I get back to my home I have oh <laughs> four bones which, uh, bones are those green heads that float around. Which you can also piss on. And whenever they come up in this garden, this farming, you will get more bones. Gonna go down here and start an excavation, so I think there's a goddess tier down there, which um, I'm not going to use because that leads to the bad ending. I think there's three goddess tiers in the game, and <laughs> the first time I played through, I didn't pay attention and I just ended up uh, getting the bad ending where you go to hell. And you place the statues, or the, uh, sorry, the, the tears, and everything gets fucked up. Everything. Um, I think, where is it? Yeah, that's it. You can get a berg from this dude. Which gives you crumbs and seeds. Most bones, by the way, um, most bones don't activate any sort of, uh, you, they don't actually give you bones. Alright, so what you want to do down here, you want to click on these guys until they glitch. And once this happens a few times, you want to go back outside. <laughs> or at least once you, you start getting the text that... It's just a bunch of jumbled up letters, numbers. Yep, there we go. Alright, so I'm going to go outside. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. 
epilepsy warning. <laughs> it's, uh... King Babam's rejected brother. Get him out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> Alright. And doing that, everything in the game is fucked. <laughs> uh, most, if not all, characters now will say in tips their hat at the end of their sentences. <laughs> oh boy. They are all cowboys. Well, not all, but... Kind of. Uh, doing that will also reset my piss gauge, which will help me get some more golden bugs. If I can recall where the holes are. Okay, that's one. Okay. Uh, yeah, I hate whenever games like this don't have like a guide. I know, I think there was a star to a Wikipedia, but they never actually like depicted any sort of guide for the bugs. That's why nobody really knows much about that uh, tenth bug over there that you have to piss on the dude. Also, um, glitching the world, this truck will move, and it's Mew. Mew oh, sorry, Mule. Mule doesn't want to fight. We can also sell some of our seeds and meat and crumbs over here. Of course, I'm just doing this so I can get myself some money for the underground segment. Get myself started on this area. Um, purchasing like food and drinks here will help out with oh god <laughs> uh, okay sorry um it would help out over here where you can buy a disposal room which helps out giving you more trash cans a personal spot which will also house a Artifact and an extra wallet. All right, so let's get started here. I think Negaberg is the most I can do. Rat meow. Oh, okay, before I forget. Ned tips their hat. Yeah, I don't know why I have a insistency to speedrun games. I guess I just don't really want to waste people's time. I know I'm one of those people that whenever I'm looking for something online, I hate running into a dead end. And then having to, like, wait so, so long in, like, a, a video Let's Play series just to, like, find what I wanted to find. I know I did a Spooky's House of Jump Scares video, but I just really wasn't happy about that one. Because none of my runs were really getting that 
consistent. Okay, so this is the trash area. Um, like I said, every single day these trash cans will be refilled. You can get money, you can get items. This will help out a lot. And uh, along with the... Oh, <laughs> I just realized that. Okay, so um, there are up to three sites or excavation sites that you can get stuff from. Um, the corruption also leads to the game development room which you can actually glitch out of. Thanks for showing me that one, Vinny. Oh boy. And this is still day one. <laughs> There's a lot you can do in just day one by going through the game like this. Uh, I gotta remember... I think there was one more bug down here. I'm not entirely sure where one of the, uh, like, the last specific hole was. Uh, whenever you get all ten of the bugs, you... I think it's just uh, an area that you get... I think it was 100 gold? 50 gold? <laughs> Okay, um, yeah, the the cyborg thing, I'm not really sure which, like, which day it comes into play, um, just a random day that comes up, and you can, like, start putting cyborg heads on people, and after you put cyborg heads on everybody, then you can, like, become a cyborg and run faster in-game. This way. Oh boy. Yeah, back to the town. Yeah, uh, refilling, refilling the piss gauge. It's like buying items, getting them, like any sort of product, like. Seeds, meat, crumbs, bones. Like, bones, they get a lot back. Oh, God, the town. The town. Ugh, the town. <laughs> God, I get lost in this damn place every time I come here. Okay. There we go. Hey. What are you doing up there, buddy? Yeah. Okay. Understandable. <laughs> it's like a bad no clip job. Somebody like cheats in a video game and they just get stuck in a wall. Okay. Yeah, you can't piss in this hole over here. It's just there for mule. Uh, oh! Oh jeez, I just realized that I got 9 out of 10. Okay. I I haven't made this much progress on day one before, so <laughs> just gonna throw that one out there. Uh, okay, I know. There's 
one down here. There it is. There we go. All ten in under a day. Yeah. Alright, so they'll just build a shrine. And uh, any day you want, you can go into the shrine. And they offer like this bowl or something. And uh, just piss in it and you get money. I never thought I would say that on stream. <laughs> oh yeah! And a piss upgrade as well. Well, shit. <laughs> uh, at least I can go back to the underground and buy myself that other area. Yeah, the, um, I think the excavation sites take like three days? Not really that sure. Uh, I know, I think the mechanic is, after four days, if you, like, sleep for four days straight, you die. And it's, like, shown in the, uh, the bottom left down there, that expression. He gets, like, more and more hungrier with each day passing. And since, like, every two days or so, uh, stuff respawns, you shouldn't really die. So, Negaberg. Okay. So... Extra wallet, and yeah, we can just go for the personal spot. Uh, the personal spot also has another character that you can piss on, and I think you get more money from him. It's like a, a butler. There it is. All right. Goddess relic. It's an extra wallet. The butler is another cowboy. Okay. Six gold bars. <laughs> Hell, I'm not even tired. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do. Because <laughs> I did everything in the first day, pretty much. Okay, there we go. That is a very important mechanic, because bones are, like, super crucial to this game. Uh, there's not really much we can do now. Uh, let me, let me think. Nothing's really respawned. I mean, I guess we could sell stuff. Uh, yeah, that, that should be good enough for that extra wallet back there. I know at the shop there is what is it? There's a goddess relic. I think there's another wallet there as well. Uh 
Oh, shit. <laughs> Alright. There we go. There we go. Just sell all that anyways. To carry yet another a hundred gold. Dear God. And it will get to that point. At like the first few days, if you're like, if you don't know what to do, it is kind of hard to like get money. But eventually you'll just get to the point that like, you have too much. can't buy bones as far as I can tell I think the bones they take longer to like respawn um, I know the the bones in the farm are a lot more consistent than the ones that you find out in the game that's for sure Let's see. Trash, 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 trash. There it is. Five gold bars. So I know... Oh my fucking god! What? <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Okay, so I can't, I can't even buy the, the goddess relic yet. So, uh, this, all right, uh, I'm going to go back to the house, see if the trash cans have some stuff, and if I can get up to 150, that'd be great. Go back to the dungeon full of cowboys. Just one Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones lives in my basement. Now that, that's an interesting title. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Yeah, crap. I hate that prompt so much. Um, okay, yeah, he gives me uh, a bunch of gold. The blessing for today. <laughs> Dear God. Uh, let me check if Alfred has more gold bars. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Pissing on old men to get gold bars. I do not condone this. <laughs> it's bizarro action. Um, there are also days here and there where, um, a witch will come and you have to have like a, a certain amount of gold or like bones um, I know there's like a videotape that you have to get and you can go into this witch's home and there's like another piss upgrade or something oh no don't want to get confused as hell here again yeah, okay. Okay, three goddess relics. I think the last two are... I think they're in... 
the excavation sites. Oh no, uh, whenever you, you die, it's like you die of starvation for after like several days of not going out and like eating. And you like get spawned in hell and you, <laughs> you have to go into a waiting room. You come out. Is that it? Huh. Okay. I don't. I don't think there is anything important going to be happening as of now, at least for a while. Okay. Okay. Jeez, Indiana Jones. Okay, yeah, that's the guy that usually wants his videotape. Not really sure on his spawn cycle. Uh, yeah, the the witch. Not really sure on her spawn cycle either. I know there are some days that you just like wake up at night or something, and you come out here. And there's like a, a witch that spawns in the summoning circle over here. She like sells you... Yeah, that... Uh, okay. Uh, there's like a goddess relic. There's a videotape. I don't care and I don't care. Okay. Uh, trash can. Yeah, jeez, there's like a freaking Wikipedia for everything these days. <laughs> uh, some are more obscure. Like I, I have been working with a lot of Wikipedias. Um, some are like so bare bones that it's just a hassle trying to get all this information for something. You have to like devote. All your time to one thing. What is the respawn cycle for the chests in here? Well. <laughs> Actually, hang on. I'm not sure if I went all the way down there to the goddess. Yeah, good question. Why the hell does the goddess have to live in this bleak, depressing freaking place? Jeez. <laughs> I think there's a room around here that is, like, guarded by two people who... Like, not two, like a whole bunch of people. There it is. This is like an inn or something. Oh, what the hell is that? What? They drop gold bars. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the goddess. Um, think of like the most crazy bitch in an anime. She has like a stuck-up attitude. Freaking hate her. And she's in like every episode. Yeah, that's the goddess. <laughs> okay, let's see. Boy... What are you doing? Jeez. Oh, yeah, that's right. Forgot to get the trash yesterday. Oh, well. Ow. <laughs> Ow, indeed. It's my sentiments exactly, pal. Like the the rest of the volume is so quiet, then you piss on freaking Alfred. Then he becomes a black hole in your ears.
All right. Um. Yeah, I guess it is four days. <laughs> so, okay, so the respawn cycle for these seeds is four days. Um, I think bones, it takes a lot longer. It really helps to have like a bone farm. Because of, like, their worth in the game. Oh, man. Uh, I, I'm not sure if I already explained that in my, uh, L's Word video. I... I really don't like going on to streams now. <laughs> um, it's mainly because most of my streams, whenever I try to like go on, have some fun, I like streaming my initial reaction of things. Uh, like, let's say RPG Maker games. I've been really dying to do some streams of those, but I lose a lot of my footage because of, like, stupid mishaps. <laughs> like, like I forget to unmute myself, or uh, the, the background, it, like, it pauses on a single thing. And then it, like, skips forward while playing, like, the, the audio. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's that's totally done. Yeah. Um yeah. Let me just go to hell. Uh You don't even have to die to go to hell. There's like a path right down here that says just go to hell. And just spawn down here with these derp shit looking things. Uh, this is where you go to do the uh, the goddess tears thing. <laughs> Could be worse, huh? The hell is that? <laughs> Fucker. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Okay. Uh... This is actually the model of the protagonist, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> and tips their hat. Well. Yeah, I've been trying to get my hands on a, a few like bizarre games like this for a while now. Um, I just don't know, because my computer is, like, starting to really mess up streams. Most of my streams, they just get, like, of course, like, stuck on a single frame, and then they ruin the whole thing. 
I had a stream of AM2R that was like going super good. And then it just like stopped. Just stopped on a single frame for like five minutes. And you could hear like me shooting up a bunch of Metroids and crap. There wasn't a single thing going on. Uh, Alright. This is excavation site. Alpha. Um, yeah, these excavation sites are pretty small, but intriguing. I don't know if there's like a whole Wikipedia on this. These are like Abandoned towns underground. It's like the kind of thing that uh, you would see in like Mega Man Zero or ZX where you like go underneath uh, the city and you find like the remains of some stuff. Uh. <laughs> My Mega Man experience isn't really that much. Uh, I'm a big fan of Rockman, but the thing is, I haven't played any of the Rockman games. Like, I had a Rockman uh, Collector's Edition series. Here's a goddess tier. Um, I totally skipped the whole X series, and I haven't played any of the, the Mega Man games on the Mega Man Anniversary Collection thing. <laughs> I've played the ZX... And Zero Series, that's it. What a creepy freaking farmer. That chick can go from, like, being the happiest person here to talking about poisoning the the bread crumbs that I gave her to kill people with. <laughs> uh. Hey, that's pretty good. Oh, okay. Getting some bones for once in 3,000 years. Oh, man. <laughs> Doing pretty good. Got three bone drops. Watch is like I get nothing now. Okay, another bone. Give me your money. <laughs> nothing. You get nothing. Yeah. Back to zero bone. Um, for the past year, actually, I've been concentrating more on my DeviantArt account. <laughs> oh. Oh, uh, this is one of those witch days. Let's see what I can do.
okay. It's like an altar that I have to go to here. Goddess relic tape five bones. Tape ritual. Screw it. Yeah, it like immediately goes to a new day after that. Um Yeah I didn't really notice how bad Deviant Art could be. Not saying that like it's all bad. Some of the stuff I've seen there, oh boy. Even after I like I watched uh I hate everything. Oh my god. The meat is cowboy. The bread is cowboy. <laughs> uh. The phone is cowboy. Everything is cowboy. Yeah, uh, I've been trying to, like, start this project, um, where I depict the characters from the Biichi series, which is, uh, one of, uh, Okubo, Oso or, Okubo Atsushi's, uh, former works, uh, the same dude who made Soul Eater and, uh, Fire Brigade of Flames, which I've been trying to read, and, uh, God damn it. <laughs> it was a little weird reading that series. Because you go from, like, every character is, like, like, every character except... Oh god, what was her name? <laughs> um, what a great fan of the series I am. Um, but you like go from this series where like everybody they treat everybody like a a real uh, real character. That doesn't... It, I just can't really explain it. Just... Know that the creator of Fairy Tale made... Uh, like he was in association with Fire Brigade of Flames. And then you look at the, the characters from Fire Brigade of Flames. And you realize... Every girl in Fire Brigade of Flames is like over-sexualized as fuck. And it's, it's really difficult to take him seriously. Yeah, I cringe every time in a, a manga or a, an anime. They like crowbar in a, a shower scene. I know uh, my stepsister, she was watching High School of the Dead. And whenever I started watching the series, eh, it's just another anime. Wasn't good, wasn't bad. And then I got up to, like, the point that they stopped watching, and it was, like, <laughs> a freaking shower scene. And at first I, I thought nothing of it. But then it really started to, like, get on my nerves. Oh, shit. Whoops. Because every character in High School of the Dead is just an object. 
every female character in that damn series, man. Oh boy. Um, let's go to Papa Roach's sacrificial altar and get 50 coins for pissing in it. Uh, yeah. Sorry about that. I, I do get sidetracked a lot. Uh, but anyway, the only copies of Biichi that I've been able to research and start depicting, all of them are in French. I don't know what the hell anybody's saying. I just know that there's like a lot of action going on. <laughs> Nothing else. Oh, and I think I just hit my gold limit. Well. <laughs> just gotta wait for the crazed... What's his name? The crazed killer to spawn back in. Um, that's another aspect that whenever I downloaded this game, it came with a game, I think it was just called Crazed Serial Killer. I don't know what the hell that was even about. And I played it for like five minutes. I thought it was actually, like, the beginning of this game that, I don't know, Vine Sauce cut out or something. No. It's just, like, a separate product. Um. I hate whenever they do that with, like, separate files and stuff. Okay. So, okay, yeah, um, the serial killer should, <laughs> god damn it, stumbling over my damn words, can't think straight, because it's so late. Tired as the dude in the uh, right left corner down there. Ah, damn it. There's no point in uh, going to sell anything. I'm trying to think. Um, I don't think there's really anything important going on for a while. Like, I could check the underground to see if I can turn into a cyborg yet. I could also check out here. No? Okay. Most of the time, it's just day skipping. Though you have to keep up your stamina, otherwise you just end up in hell and you have to go through that waiting room crap again. There's not really much punishment in dying. Uh, I know if you do get the god, <clears throat> damn it, the goddess tears, then you just have to restart the whole game. Because otherwise you're just stuck in this limbo. With nothing to do. And I think at like the bottom of the screen it's just text. That the goddess is like pissed off with you. For disobeying you. Or uh, disobeying her.
Yeah, I've also been playing through the uh, primary Legend of Zelda games on the 3DS. It's uh, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, and uh, Link Between Worlds. Oh my god, such good damn games for the 3DS. Um, I've actually played those games on the 3DS to the point that <laughs> the uh, the bumpers, like the paint on the bumpers actually started coming off. Just peeled off onto my hand. Okay, gold bar. It's <laughs> just one seed. Okay. Yeah, I think, of course, the, the fortune telling is just pretty obvious. About, like, uh, the doom that will befall this place. <laughs> befall. <laughs> Damn it. Day 11 should be the day. Come on, baby. Yes. Okay. All right. So, start by uh, this slow process of putting these helmets on these people. There are some people that you cannot put the helmets on. Um, this is a very slow process. Just like back and forth. Just trying to find a bunch of dudes that you can <laughs> You just can like put the helmets on to make this loud, obnoxious sound. If this game were to get a sequel, oh my god. <laughs> Imagine, like, the lore behind the sequel. Oh man. Some riveting stuff right there. Uh, yeah, should be ten people here. Um, for this, yeah, I think I'll go for a 100% on this game. <laughs> uh, what am I doing with my life? I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with the, uh, the L's word. 
gameplay. Um, because whenever I was trying to play through Ellsword, I did make it up to the like the, the section where I would say, hey, I'm going to start playing with other players. I got on with my cousin. I couldn't play squat. My game was slowing down. Not only because I was playing with another guy, but it's just the fact that uh, my recording was going on in the background. I wish I had some recording software for uh, the 3DS. That'd be cool. But I don't really know what I would do with that. Um, I mean, I've played Xenoblade Chronicles like a freaking billion times. I'm a bumbling mess in Majora's Mask. I know where to go, but eventually it just gets to the point where you just start to wonder, like, uh, wait, did I do this? Did I do that? Oh shit, what should I do? Um, I was able to 100% uh, Majora's Mask, Ocarina of Time, and I think I did it in... A Link Between Worlds in three days. That's not counting, like, mode changes, because hero mode and, uh... What's the other mode called? Master Quest mode. Took me a while. Uh, I thought I got it. I have to walk back here. What? Uh, it's one of the people that can't assimilate on a cellular level. Oh, sweet. Uh, game freeze. Uh, game freeze. <laughs> oh no! There we go, okay. We're good. We're good. We Gucci. <laughs> oh god, that walking speed. Yes. So good. Oh my god. So much better. <laughs> <laughs> uh. What? Oh, fuck! No! You fucking bread. Why am I doing this? I don't know. I have no reason to keep farming now, because I've done everything. I just need to get the goddess tears from the excavation sites, and that last goddess relic. And then I can just go straight on up to Dendigar. Yeah, I can agree with your sentiments there, pal. Um... Uh, 
Wait a tick. Oh crap. I might have forgotten the location of the second tier. <laughs> it's either that or I just like forgot that there might have been a... Okay, so there's Alpha. There's Beta, right? Yeah, Ruined City Beta. I think there's Delta and Omega. Or it's just Delta, and I'm just forgetting where the last tier is. Shouldn't surprise anybody, because I am a total wreck right now. Oh, I just realized that the, <laughs> I just realized that don't, those weren't the eyes, those were cowboys. <laughs> Fuck this game. Okay, just, uh. Okay. So... Bring this back to this dude over here. Wait, what? Oh, sorry. You have too much gold. <laughs> gold am on. Okay, whoa, slow down there, CWC. Oh. Oh, okay, so that was the key. Uh, the door should be over here. <laughs> what? Okay. Oh, okay. Just remembered where the last tier was. <laughs> I'm so, uh, so dumb. Yeah, there's like a weird flying UFO down there with some. I think it was the investigator. No, it's like a scarecrow dude. Uh, all right, so I just need to hire Indiana Jones to go to that last ruin. All right, sweet. Yeah, there's like an event that triggers in the town that, uh, there's like sky pilgrim that come down and they just like wreck the whole city.
Like, if I were to go back there right now, you could see the Sky Pilgrim. <laughs> They're literally living right above their damn town. Those people? Yeah, those are Sky Pilgrim. <laughs> oh, God. They aren't even, like, reskinned or anything. Well, actually, wait. I think... No. trying to remember I don't even remember like what I got right now if it would have told me uh, there's like an inventory or something but bottom right corner is all I got pretty sure I only have one here right now. I know also the uh, it sucks that like some of these things have been reskinned and uh, can't really find them. Unless that was just it, and this is supposed to be God. And now I wander. I was hoping what was on the market back there was uh, the last tier that I'm not going to use. <laughs> Just being a dummy. That's right. I agree with you, Cygnus. That should be it for now. At least until the, uh, until the next excavation site is open. My bread. My glorious bread that I'm accidentally cultivating. <laughs> okay, I think my dude's happy yet. Yeah. Shit. Man. You can get stuck on, like, so much stuff in this game. So many stuff. Turn it into rice gum. Six. Zero crumbs. I thought that was a six. What the fuck? That thing sat there for, like, 
A freaking millennia. Dear Lord. Piss oil all over these things. All over the place. Cultivating my trash farm. Kind of looks like trash bags with spikes coming out of them. <laughs> well, okay. So, he's he gone. This is City Ruins Omega. It would be cool if I could get my hands on, uh, was it, the uh, that Super Mario game. It was really, really weird. <laughs> I know I have it on my, my Steam page, uh, that it was like a weird LSD-based game. Where in the hell is that last crystal? Crystal tier. What the hell is that? And tips their hat. I mean, yes, it's just like around the corner and I was overthinking everything. Yeah. Bring them to the hell zone to unlock an ancient secret. Piss off. Jolly wanker. Oh, yeah, all right, it's end game time. Okay. Yeah, you can't do anything right now. Just like... Auto lock on the ship. I can't even see the damn thing. What is my screen doing? Ha <laughs> 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 
Yeah, if I, if I didn't know, this was just another game from, uh, the slaughtering grounds. <laughs> Can't see anything. How the hell? <laughs> like all of this is just a show. I think you can literally just You don't even have to shoot your gun, just ends the game like this. Maria! Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I wish they still did the and tips their hat thing now. <laughs> oh my god. Get out of here. Get out of here. Alright, so... I got stuff to do. It's just a culmination of everything from the game. Uh, don't know you. Don't know any of you. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Nintendo Nightmare. And the Fantabulous game would be great to stream. <laughs> uh, good end. Well, uh, that was the whole game. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go to bed now. And this is probably going to be in my nightmares. But I hope you all enjoyed, and I hope that uh, helped you guys out in some way or another. <laughs>